Well, today I'm going to be harvesting some down from this old quilt here. This is my big purple quilt. It's got uh, 20, no, 19 ounces of the Costco down in it, which is supposed to be 700 fill. And I'm going to put it via my system here into this big bag, which is another Costco down throw that I've uh, taken all the seams out of. And it's just my repository for down. So when I've sucked it all out of this one, plus the six and a half ounces that was in that one, I'm going to have about 25 ounces of down in that bag. I've got a couple more tubes to do. And so that'll be for my ongoing projects of other um, underquilts. So I've got myself a shop vac, which can blow and suck. Blow that in. Suck that in. And I've got what I'm calling a giant pooter. This is a sort of version of uh, what we used to use as kids for collecting insects. You'd suck on one pipe and you'd put this pipe up against whatever insect and they'd get sucked into the inspection chamber. In this one, you can see it's the down. On this end, I've got the suction from the back. I've put a bit of stocking over that. I've had to put a little mesh under the stocking to stop it getting sucked down the tube. But that's to stop any more down escaping from the receptacle. And on this side is the bit that attaches to my other hose, which goes into the quilt. And when I want to transfer it, I just put the suck to the blow and then it blows it into the other bag. So put that one on there, seal it down. Shop vac goes on to the one. filter and then my suck up tube goes in the other hole and I'm ready to suck up. I've got some escaping down. Let's deal with that first. Right, when I feel the uh, suction dropping, turn it off because I don't want to overfill the tube. I've done that twice now and uh, when I'm being extra greedy, that's just a pain in the neck. But I can get about an ounce of down into that little container and that's ready to get blown into my storage bag. Get the storage bag, and let's take the hose, swap it to the blow side. Open up my storage bag. Put the same tube that I was sucking with just now into there. Make sure I seal everything up nice and tight and dandy. And now, I turn it on. Few bits of floaters around. I can just 
swap back and suck up the floaters. Ready for the next ounce. So, improvements I could make. One was we have a bigger container so I could do more than an ounce at a time. The other there is where the suction goes in. If I had a, a larger filter so it didn't get clogged up quite as easily. Um, and yeah, so something a bit more sturdy on the lid. But it'll do for this. I can cope with doing an ounce at a time. So, back to the adventure. Hope that's, I don't know, useful to somebody. <laughs>